Hi, I'm James Pack. I work at Anthro International in Gretna, Virginia. I would like to demonstrate a uh, porta potty truck here today. We're going to start in the cab. Has a power takeoff switch. You got your AMT water pump switch. And you also have your work light switch. Okay. You'll select whatever you want to do. If you want to cut your PTO on to, to run your vacuum pump, you'll come here, you'll select vacuum. You'll pour 20 inches to on load or you'll select pressure to offload. Okay. Porta potty is a little more complicated. We have a ground fill where you don't have to climb up on your tank and you just simply hook a water hose into it, open it and fill the vessel. Okay. We also have a bucket fill. You just pop the cap off, open the handle, fill your bucket, wash down your toilet, hang your bucket back on your truck. You have a high-end AMT water pump. The AMT pump is piped up to the hose reel, which is a hand reel, as a high-end hose reel. Uh, you use it to wash down your, your, your toilets, your, your johns. And also we have a four inch discharge that's piped to the side for easy access. When you get to your dump station, you just simply hook to it and open your discharge. If you come on around, we have an Amthor toilet carrier on the back that you can haul two porta johns on. We have a boat winch that you can go around one toilet or two to keep them from slack. As uh, far as maintenance on the port, uh, Porta potty trucks, you would grease your, grease your uh, PTO drive shaft once a month. You grease your man waves about once a month. You drain your muffler and your scrubber daily and your secondary. Uh, winter time, guys, make sure you run uh, RV antifreeze or keep your pump system drained down.